pretty fishies. Okay, so February is over and we are now into March. We are in day one of March. And I'm so excited because March brings in spring. I love the spring season. My birthday's in the spring. It's just nice to have warmer weather, change of season. So I'm really, really excited for this month. But before we start a new month, we always have to do the monthly favorites from the month past, I guess. Yeah. February was a short month, so I just have a few favorites. But um, yeah, I'll just get right into them. Okay, so my first monthly favorite is my iPhone 5. I just got my iPhone 5 and I am so in love with it. It's fast. The camera quality is amazing. I don't like the fact that it doesn't have a charger that fits um, all my other chargers, like this little hole. You have to, it's like a whole new like adaptation thing. Um, but I love it. My old phone was broken. I finally was eligible for an upgrade in mid-February. Um, so I went ahead and upgraded just at the end of this month, but I already love it so, so much. Um, and then my phone case is from my online store, Trisha's Treasure Chest and I love it. Right now we only have them for the iPhone 5, but if you guys want us to get cases for your phone, leave your model below and we'll see if we can get the majority of um, what you guys have. But I just picked the iPhone 5s because obviously I have an iPhone 5. We have over 20 different cases and uh, right now, starting today till Sunday the 3rd, um, at Church's Treasure Chest we have a big sale going on, 20% off the entire store to welcome in spring. It's code word SPRING20. Um, I will link all the description and bonus code words in um, in the box below and so it's good for your whole order including these new dresses we got in this is one of our new dresses um, same style different color but we have over like 30 new dresses as well um, fun summer styles that I'll be showing you um, coming up here so anyways I was so excited that we got phone cases in and I love it it's just like this nice pink sparkly leopard it's totally me it's totally Trish I love it and they're only five dollars and if you get the 20% off now it's even cheaper than that it's basically a steal so and if you can't tell by my hair, I've been obsessed with my crimper. Um, yeah, this is kind of old school. This reminds me of middle school of crimping my hair. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's all tangled because it was in my bag. Um, but it is the Professional Heat Deep Crimper. And I got this at Flatiron Experts. It's the only place I found one. Um, it has the ridges. It's very small, defined crimps. I went through this kind of quick, so it's kind of more like loose. But if you hold it down more... Um, Obviously, it gives it more of a tighter crimp, more defined crimp, um, but I just love it. It's just so easy. It's no skill and twisting and turning. It's just clamp, 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 all the way down. Easy peasy. It's totally old school, especially with the pink and white. It looks like we're back in the 90s, but I love it. I feel very Daryl Hannah and very uh, just like princess, Amazonian goddess. Okay, so a few of my favorite beauty products this month. Um, this one is like brand, brand new to me, and I absolutely love it. It is a color... The Vivids by Maybelline, they all come in this packaging, but it is the prettiest pink color ever. It is so Barbie, you just swatch, and so pigmented. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's a really great dupe for MAC Snob or St. Germain. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The price is right. The consistency is beautiful, and it leaves your lips super creamy. Um, it's called Pink Pop 860, and it's the Maybelline Vivids. It's the only one I like from the Vivids. I tried about maybe four or five of them, and the Pink Pop is definitely the best. Um, my favorite concealer of this month, I went back to MAC, and this is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20, and it's a super light shade, but it's hot, full, full coverage. I use it to contour my under eyes, my nose, and that's pretty much it. I, put it on, I pack it underneath my under eyes and my nose, and then I'll put it under some acne spots, but I usually use my darker concealer for that, but this is more just to highlight. Great consistency. I actually had this for about a year, and I just started using it again, but I absolutely love it. MAC makes some bomb face products, and if you need high coverage like I do, definitely check this out. My favorite foundation this month is without a doubt the Dior Air Flash uh, Skin Spray Foundation. I love it. It's one of those spray can bottles. I did a whole first impressions video. If you want to check it out, I will link it below. Obsessed. It leaves my face feeling flawless, and it's just lightweight, and it's just I, there's nothing bad about this product. I just love it. Now, this is a new um, bronzer I'm trying on recommendation from It's Blondie, Casey here on YouTube. Um, she mentions this in, um, she's mentioned this before in her videos, and then she just recently mentioned it again, like, the, this past month. So I went out and tried it. It's the um, Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I don't know. It's a Chanel bronzer, and it's very creamy. As you can see, the consistency. Um, 
it kind of like freaked me out how to use it at first because I was like dipping my brush in there. I actually use a foundation brush to put it on and then I heavily contour. It, to me, it's a very, um, it's a very deep deep tan for my skin um but i like it it goes on thick and it's creamy but it actually dries matte i mean my cheeks are a little like um glossy right now but it does dry really matte i absolutely love it um it's pricey do i like it as much as my what is it it's uh hula bronzer from benefit yeah, I don't know. I mean, I it's a tough call. I like the way this finish is better. I like the way that the Hula Benefit applies better. Um, but they both give you a very nice matte and just a very, uh, yeah, matte finish. There's no shimmer in them. And that's what I like. But I really liked this just for the way I was able to contour with it and control it with a foundation brush. A couple more beauty products. Um, this is the Self Tanning Tinted Lotion from Victoria's Secret. Um, this was a recommendation of my friend Kayla who recommended me the Naked Green Juice. You guys should go follow Kayla on Twitter. She's Kayla LaRue. She's absolutely gorgeous and stunning. She's like the epitome of what I want to be. She's just like this tiny little blonde. I love her. She always posts beauty pictures and I know a lot of people went out and bought this after um, she did because they tweeted at me and at her because I was just like obsessed. But it's just like 14 bucks. But it is a really dark tan as you can see. And I've used this quite a bit, so I don't know if you're going to be able to tell much of a difference. Um, yeah, I mean, because I just self-tanned with this this morning, so anyways, I know you really can't tell, but I like it because there's no scent and it does not get on your clothes. Like, it's literally, where is it? It's literally like a, just a tinted lotion is what it is. It's not like a self-tanner where it's going to get on your bra or whatever. Um, you know, I kind of just put it on right after I shower. I like do my face, brush my teeth, and then I like throw on some clothes. And I've never had an issue with it. It's never got on my sheets. I love it. It's the most affordable. And there looks like there's a little shimmer in it. Maybe that's just something else. But I love this stuff. I just want to, oh gosh, I just love it so much. It's just really, I don't know. And it is a lotion, so it makes your hands really smooth. But, I don't know. I love it. I'm obsessed with, like, tinted lotions. Like, I love the Nivea. But now that Victoria's Secret has this out for spring, I was like, yeah, give me that too. This is relatively new as well. This is the Honey Sweetheart from the Sweethearts Collection from Bath & Body. Um, I got the spray, and I also got this really pretty glitter thing, which I don't have it here. I left it at my friend's house, but um, it's really pretty. Like, it gives you a nice shimmer, and I love it. But I love the scent, and I love this spray. Mmm. It's so sweet. It just smells like, well, my mom used this analogy in her video um, where she talked about us getting it. But it's like adult cotton candy. It's cotton candy, but not for, like, a little girl. It's just... It's just really sweet but mature. I just, I love it. This Honey Sweetheart, you have to go, like, check it out. It's, like, the best of all the Sweetheart scents. I got everything. I got, like, the lotion, the spray. Um, I would definitely recommend this and then the Shimmer Spray if you like the sh if you like shimmery stuff because it just looked gorgeous when you, like, tried it out. Oh, it's perfect for summer. Just glisten in the sun. Oh, amazing. This is actually going to be featured in an upcoming Bath & Body Works haul with that spray so you can see it better there. Just a few miscellaneous items. Um, my swamp tea, freshly brewed by Gators. Uh, my little YouTube sister in crime, uh, Bunny, who probably doesn't even know I exist, aka Graveyard Girl, um, started selling these. And as soon as I saw her Instagram, I was like, I need to get them. I was like, probably one of the first people to order them. I love it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Can I not drink? I was going to do a little um, Muppet throw for you guys, aka my bunny sip and tea throw, but that just was a big fail, but I'll do it anyways, because what else is new? <sighs> Yum! Love it. I will support my YouTube sisters in anything, even if they don't know I exist. I bought all of Ellen Blair's makeup. I love Bunny's Cup. I'm just a big, firm supporter in supporting those who YouTube for my entertainment, because we're all just trying to hustle and make a living out there, so cheers to that. Next is my feel of facts. Now, this feel of facts is a lot littler than I wanted it to be, but they were actually sold out of the medium size. As soon as the medium size comes in, I'm going to order it because I'm obsessed with it, and I'll probably end up giving this one away because it is like a hundred bucks. Um, I don't put any cards in here, but I did order these like sticky notes as extra, but I mean, I just literally, I make like a ton of notes. Like, I keep all the things I need for beauty. This is stuff I want to get in the future. Stores I shop at. 
Um, and then I like put my schedule, Dr. Phil taping, live show, um, my sister's birthday, just like anything. I just put down meeting with Sergio, a million and one things. It just helps me keep me really organized. So that's the diary. I showed you guys the notes. And they come with all these little tabs, information, there's a financial pocket, and then there's like a address book at the back. And I love it. I think it's just, oh, it's helped me keep me organized. Like literally, I finally had something to keep everything in one place. Like I said, I kind of want a bigger one just because my eyes can't really see. Um, but if I do get a bigger one, this won't go to waste because I plan on giving it away to you guys. But it is literally a lifesaver. I don't forget anything. Um, I don't have to worry about my phone like going crazy and deleting all my notes. It's right here. I like things handwritten so I can see and look to and write down so I don't forget. And I literally use this like 20, every 20 minutes of the day. I love, love, love it. My food favorite of choice this month, maybe it's obvious, maybe it's not. It's the Oikos Greek yogurt in blueberry. Definitely just the blueberry. I tried the vanilla. I've tried the, I think it's strawberry. Blueberry is bomb.com. It tastes like a blueberry pie. It's nice, thick, creamy, and it's pretty healthy for you. It's Greek yogurt. It's non-fat, um, 130 calories. I pretty much have one of these for breakfast. I love it, and I crave it, and if you want something for dessert, like a sweet treat, I'll, I'll do this as well, because I figure it's better than like donuts or cookies. Um, love Oikos. It's by Dannon. You can get this in like Ralph's, but I know our Ralph always is like out when I go, so I stock up on these. Um, they only last a couple weeks, so you got to eat them kind of quick. And last but not least, um, for my favorite is, this is going to be the end of the Ugg Butt, <laughs> Ugg Butt, oh my god, what is wrong with me? This is going to be the end of the Ugg Boot season, but I got these babies just in time, and they're my pink, pink sequin Ugg Boots that I'm like obsessed with, I love so comfortable, so pretty. I get so many compliments on these. I know they're pretty much like sold out everywhere, but I'd highly recommend checking eBay. eBay sometimes has knockoff knock off Uggs, so be careful, or if you don't care, go ahead and get them because they're just so beautiful and I'm obsessed with them. I love them and this is definitely, definitely like my all-time favorite of this month. So those are my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed them. If you guys have February favorites for this year, leave them in as a video response below or just go ahead and comment below because I like to hear what you guys are interested in. Um, this is YouTube. We are here to share and share alike. So don't be greedy with your beauty finds this month. Share them with all of us. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like there's like glitter floating in the camera, but maybe not. And also don't forget, if you do want to check out Trisha's Treasure Chest for phone cases, our new dresses, and everything else new we have, go ahead and check it out this weekend because we do have 20% off the entire store. You get it off your entire order. Ridiculous cheap prices. Spring 20. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. And until next time, here are my kissies for my fishies. Mm -hmm. Bye guys.